Welcome to your Daily Five for Thursday, March 7th, 2024. Lando and I bag on reboots and remakes quite a bit, and often justifiably so, but I, I do try to keep an open mind when a reboot or a remake seems to make sense. If I can see the logic in revisiting a concept, then I'll at least, you know, wait and see how it turns out before I necessarily completely destroy it. But there are other times, I mean, I've talked about how the fact I love the Suspiria remake and I love the original and the, both of those films work. It can be done. It's not often that it's done well, but it can be done. But once in a while, there's one that just seems so cate categorically, catastrophically misjudged that it really just makes your head spin. And I'll be honest, I had not been keeping track of anything going on with the Crow reboot because I just assumed, like an idiot, that they were going to use the mythology and tell a new story. And that could, that would make a lot of sense. So I thought, okay, well, I'm not going to really worry about it till the thing is actually coming out. And we see what the story is because I actually, well, I love the original, like many people of my age do. It, it was one of these things, and this is another element. It was an event of its time. And there's so many things involved when The Crow came out that just are not repeatable. Brandon Lee's death, the fact that it's, that many people consider it his best performance, the direction, the whole thing with that movie, the soundtrack. There's so many elements of that that I just can't see them being able to do again because some of them are simply locked in their time. But also there were sequels that went in different directions. I actually like the second film. I mean, it's inferior to the first one, but I enjoy it. The series, I believe, had a different character. I think there was a female crow at one point as well because this is an inherently malleable concept. It's basically the, the ghost with unfinished business. It is Ghost, the, the Demi Moore movie. It's Ghost, where a, a person has been wronged. Some injustice has been done. The crow spirit resurrects them. They get justice and then they die, having gotten some closure for what was done to them. It's a great concept. It's a classic one. Just the original put this goth paint over it with a wonderful soundtrack and a great performance. And it all added up to a great movie that many people still love. I'm one of them. I have the comic is 10 feet from me on a shelf. I have the movie. I think Proyas is a great director. He hasn't always made great movies, but I love his visuals and everything in that film is fantastic. So why just try to repeat that? Why not take a concept that gives you essentially an open canvas to tell modern stories that a modern audience would want to see and you just run back and do the same one again in a design that looks like it is directly ripped off from the Joker, the Jared Leto Joker look from Suicide Squad, which whose favorite look for the Joker is that? And that's really what they seem to be doing here, no matter what they say to the, oh, it's based on Post Malone, whatever. It looks like the Joker put some eye makeup on and blacked his eyes out. That's what it looks like. It just looks really shoddy. And, and I don't know, maybe the movie will be fantastic. But even if it is, again, why not modernize this story? Why not take that baseline idea that can go in a thousand interesting directions and just do the same thing with it again? Because you're going to alienate the older audiences. Like, I don't want to see it now because it's the same character. I'm inherently biased against it because it doesn't make sense to remake it. And it's, I mean, my sister's eight years younger than me. I doubt she even knows what The Crow is. So to see this, I don't know that it would be appealing to her. I, and I don't know that younger audiences even know what it is unless they have a diehard fan as a parent. Then, of course, you know, that might be an exception. But this isn't Star Wars. It's not superheroes. It's not the Ghostbusters even where there is a pop culture permeation through just the fact that everybody knows what this is. Is that the crow? I don't hear it come up in casual conversation very often. I don't even know if a lot of people are aware of the reboots happening. I forgot about it for a while. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's been in, in development, you know, circles of hell for a while, but even so I, even when I knew it was happening, didn't really care. The only reason I'm even making a five about it is because I think this idea of remaking it is so stupid. So I, I, maybe I'm misreading this again. There's always the possibility this movie might come out and be really good. But even if it is, does anybody really believe that it's going to be as good as the original was? Because again, it's not just the film. It's also the time it came out. And no matter what you might try to do, you're not going to be able to bring everybody back to the early 90s. It's just not going to happen. So I don't know. This, this again, I usually try to be even handed with remakes and give them the benefit of the doubt. But this one just looks like a disaster from the jump. So I'll throw this out to you, the listeners. Does anybody see a way that this remake makes sense and is successful? Because if you can, please let me know. I can't see it. Later.